precursor will be N-acetylcysteine. You can take N-acetylcysteine. It's a precursor, but your body has to turn that precursor into glutathione. And some people have genetic SNPs where genetically they don't convert that into glutathione very well. So you can take as much NAC as you want, but if you're genetically just impaired in that way, then taking more NAC or precursor is not going to help you get to the final product of glutathione. This is the reason why taking glutathione is better. You just work around the blockage, you just get straight to the final product, which is glutathione. So glutathione is always preferred. In people who just, for some reason, can't get glutathione, can't tolerate glutathione, then we do NAC. NAC serves different purposes. NAC is a great mucus thinner. So for people who have a lot of mucus, that may be helpful in that way. It's also an antioxidant, but so is glutathione. So there may be different reasons to take NAC and glutathione. In our acetylglutathione product, it has both NAC and glutathione together. So you're getting both. And I find that combination works really well.